Open the phone. Open your phone, girl. Okay, hopefully this video is in focus. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is just going to be a chill, sit down, get to know me, answer a couple of your questions. Um, I don't know, it's a new year, I got a new camera, woo woo! Thank goodness for my amazing boyfriend. Um, honestly, best Christmas gift. He got me the Canon EOS Rebel T5, so I'm pretty stoked on having like obviously better quality videos hello um i didn't want to like jump on here and try to do a tutorial or something and i don't know how the hell to use this camera all the way right so i thought let me just play around see if i can get this uh you know camera working and focused and dot of this and dot of that um i filmed this damn it's windy <laughs> that was random i filmed this video once already uh, I ran out of memory and then when I played it back the whole thing was out of focus unless I was like hella close to the lens So I have another lens that's supposed to be for wide like or far away distance Which is kind of what I wanted to do like sit back But I couldn't it was just blurry and I think I need somebody to help me and I don't know girl So anyway, here we are sitting down up close and personal. I'm chilling I'm um, sorry if I sound hella nasally like uh, yesterday Ooh, what's that? Yesterday evening I started getting like a sore throat and I'm just, it's not the business. So anyway, moving on with this video, um, let's just kind of get to know me better, shall we? <laughs> okay, so obviously first things first, my name is Janae. Thank you for checking out my channel. Please subscribe, like, comment, that of this, that of that. Do what you do, you know. Uh, it would make my life a lot happier if I actually knew that people were watching this, so thank you. Um, I know that my name is spelled weird. It's J-E-N-A-E. -E. That's just the way that my mom wanted to spell it. Um, obviously, kudos, you found my channel, whether you spelled my name right or wrong. So I hope that that's not going to be an issue, but we shall see. Um, my age. I'm 25. I think somebody's here, but I don't care. Um, I'm 25. Not that that's a bad thing, but I turn 26 next month. February 12th is my birthday. And girl, I'm just <laughs> not looking forward to it. Um, not that it's a bad thing. I mean, growing old is supposed to be cool or whatever, but you know, at 26, they just put this like stigma on you that like you know you're supposed to be at a certain level in your life i guess i don't know um it's like are you married are you gonna get married when are you gonna have kids did you graduate what are you doing with your life da of this da of that so i don't really want to deal with those questions anymore i've been dealing with them since i was 25 so hopefully 26 is just smooth sailing because for real for real 2014 was super whack for me um probably the worst year I mean, there's good and bad, but as a whole, like turning 25, it was kind of cray. A lot of crazy, weird things happened in my life. So I'm ready to put that behind me, move forward. I should probably be more excited to turn 26 than I really am, but not so much. <laughs> Location. Next question. Where do I live, girl? Where you reside? I am in San Diego, California. Well, I should say a little bit north of that. Um, born and raised in San Diego, California. I love it. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. I do want to travel. I've been to the East Coast a few times. Love it. Don't know if I could live there because I'm just so used to the warm weather. Um, but yeah, a little bit north of San Diego, like an hour away now, about 75 miles. Um, so that's where I live. I lived in LA for like a year. That's where I started my job originally, but it was just, it was just loca. So I didn't want to stay there anymore. <laughs> and I wanted to just kind of pursue like, you know, my schooling and everything else, which LA was kind of holding me back from that. So I just had to make a decision to move home to San Diego, which I did and I'm grateful and it's been all good ever since. So relationship. Uh, yes, I'm in a relationship. Um, maybe I've posted something on my Instagram about it. I don't know. Some of you guys have probably seen, but um, 
I'm in a relationship with a beautiful man. <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna watch this. It's gonna be so awkward because I just get mushy when I like try to think and talk about him. It's crazy. But anyway, his name is Rob. Don't know how much he wants me to expose of him or if he'll ever make a little cameo on my channel. But uh, we've been together for six years. He's the love of my life and um, yeah, I can't imagine like what I would do without him. He's just super dope. So <laughs> yeah, six years in the making. Hopefully we'll keep going strong. We'll be married one day with little babies. But yeah, that's way down the road. I'm not even tripping. I'm just being cray. So yeah, that's my relationship studies. Uh, what else? What else? Occupation. Ugh. Okay, so this was another one. I got comments from like the first video I ever posted. Do I work at Mac? Yes. I work at Mac. That's my job. I'm a Mac makeup artist. Um, I work full time for them. I have been with the company for five years. Um, I'm not, look, I'm not trying to sit on this channel and be some like the best Mac artist. Like, no, 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 no. That's not me by far at all ever uh, but I'm also not gonna be like a max snob or anything crazy so please before you get buck wild in the comment section like you only use it because it's free or because you get a discount that of this that of that no not true like I I yes I'm fortunate and lucky and blessed enough to be exposed to Mac makeup like on a daily basis and yes I can you know afford it and I can buy it and I do get free stuff and I do get discounted stuff but I do buy stuff full price and I always buy it with my own money so it is a job just like everybody else has a job I'm not some Mac spokesperson sitting up here they got plenty of people to do that for them so yeah that's just what it is that's what I'm doing I'm not gonna do it forever um, you know I have hopes and goals and dreams and other things that I want to pursue in my life but for the time being that is my occupation so any questions in addition to that just ask me down below <laughs> moving on why did I create my channel well I gotta check make sure I'm still recording um, hopefully you can't hear that noise because there's a blender going on um, so I created my channel because I was always kind of getting asked like makeup and hair and just beauty related questions from people, customers, friends, family, like whatever the case may be. Um, and I didn't even know originally, honestly, like a couple years ago that there was like a whole beauty community or like beauty blogger, vlogger, whatever you want to call it, makeup artists that sit here and have channels and uh, like talk about makeup and do their makeup on camera. I was like, yo, people sit in front of the camera, put their makeup on or like tell you how to do it and they listen and people watch. Like, I do that on a daily basis. Like, every day at work, I teach people stuff and I explain products and I, and tips and tricks and yada this. So, um, I was like, that's a good idea, I guess. Like, I have a lot of information. Why not share it? Um, I'm not saying I know everything. There's so much more to know, which is why I watch other people too. Um, but yeah, if, if there's, you know, information that I can share with people or teach you something, or you know build relationships with people like absolutely why would I not want to do that um, I just think that it's fun it's creative and if you guys like it and support it then thank you and that's the whole point that I'm even doing this all right you guys third, third time's a charm apparently my battery died when I was halfway through uh, my last question so anyway um, um, let's see the next question is from key to my soul she says how did you get started as a makeup artist Are school or self-taught and how did you first start spreading the word and showing your skills okay so how did you get started as a makeup artist okay um, I originally got even into doing makeup when I was like way too young like 12 or 11 thir 11 12 13 I was uh, I would be taking sneaking and taking my mom's makeup out of uh, her makeup bag in the bathroom um, and then when she started like catching me and getting mad then I would just take the money that I earned doing like chores and stuff and I would go down to like the drug stores and the Dollar Tree and or it wasn't called the Dollar Tree it was just the dollar store and like buy eyeliner and mascara and powder um, like super cheap and 
just like, play in my bedroom all, with me and my friends and just experiment and have fun. I don't know, that's how I was like originally into doing makeup. Um, I also did competitive cheer and dance for nine years of my life. So we had to wear the beat down stage makeup every time we had competitions. So I was just always doing, you know, my own makeup and a lot of the other girls on my team's makeup from like the age of 14 till I was 18 or even 13 till 18 when I was done cheering and dancing. Um, and then I became an actual makeup artist. Like I was hired with Mac when I was 19, right before I turned 20. So um, obviously that I guess is when I would consider myself a professional makeup artist. But from like 17, 18 and 19 before I got hired at Mac, I would just kind of freelance and do my own thing. Like anytime my friends wanted to go anywhere, or you know family members had special events they would just ask me to do their makeup and i just was slowly accumulating more and more makeup because i was obsessed with it so i was always buying more stuff so i just started practicing and experimenting um you know on other people in my life um so no i didn't go to school for that i guess technically i would say i'm self-taught although you learn so much um just from working with like other artists and now with the beauty of like youtube you can literally every day at the click of a button be able to see uh tips and tricks and techniques and how to actually you know do makeup in a variety of different ways and how the second part how did you first start spreading the word and showing your skills um spreading the word was just kind of happened on its own i guess like friends of friends would just pass along the fact that they knew somebody you know like who could do makeup um now with social media i mean hello that's like free marketing for yourself um and showing my skills yeah so obviously I, when MySpace was big, I would post pictures. That's when I originally started, like, of my friends' makeup and stuff. Um, and then, yeah, just Facebook, having an album dedicated, you know, to your makeup skills or whatever. Um, again, social media at this point is the best way to get your name out there. Next question is from xjules637x. Um, five random facts about you. Ooh, good question. Um... Damn, I gotta think about that. Five random facts. Okay, um, these are gonna be like weird things, I guess, from my, my childhood. Um, one random fact is that I've had two knee surgeries, one on each knee, um, when I was 17. Second random fact is that I am the only girl in my family. I have two older brothers, and I'm the youngest. Um, third random fact... Um, my hair is not naturally blonde, probably you could tell by my roots. Um, I am a brunette, but I've been blonde for like, I don't know, six or seven years. So I don't think I'll ever be a brunette again. <laughs> I guess it's not that random. Uh, four, I hate, hate, hate mayonnaise. Ugh. I don't even like to say the word. It's just repulsive. So random fact. I despise it. I hate it. I don't ever like to use it or see it or smell it. Ugh, I just think it's the grossest thing ever. Ugh. I I can't even change the topic because I just am so freaking grossed out. And what's the fifth random fact? Oh, Number five, I don't like country music. I don't like heavy metal music. I am a white girl trapped in a black girl's body, if you know what I mean. So yeah, this vanilla exterior is um, just a disguise. I am like full-blown hip-hop to la drizza. <laughs> that was corny. But yeah, I'm like, I don't, I don't listen to like white people music. Um, I'm just, I'm just different. I'm different, yeah, I'm different. I'm different, yeah, I'm different. <laughs> oh, girl, you need to get your life together. Hey, 
Thank you for checking out my channel. Please subscribe, like, comment, da da this, da da that. Do what you do, you know. Uh, it would make my life a lot happier if I actually knew that people were watching this, so thank you. 